Hi everyone and welcome to another Brick Arena Lego haul. I've got a nice little haul for you this time with some great deals from Lego Shop at Home, from Argos and some local stores as well. So stay tuned, I'll get my desk cleared and I'll be right back to show you exactly what I've been getting hold of. Okay, I'm back, so let's get started with the first item. And the first item is this classic uh, Lego set of, uh, of bricks, which is 10704. Um, there's 900 pieces in this particular box, and these were retailing for about £30 in the UK and Sainsbury's had an offer on these for 19 99 so I thought for 19 99 they worked out at about just over 2p a brick so I thought it was worth um, getting myself uh, some of those so I managed to pick up one, two, three Four and five of those. Next up, um, I um, went to a local toy store and uh, not a deal at all, but um, got my hands on the Clayface um, Splat Attack. Um, just really wanted to flesh out my collection of the Batman movie stuff so that was one I needed to add to the set so not a deal at all but um, one that I really wanted to add but next up I went to Toys R Us at the weekend because Toys R Us in the UK had an offer on for Saturday and Sunday whereby if you were a gold card Toys R Us holder you got 20% off anything in store so I went along and got myself a few more of the Batman sets and to be honest I'd gone in there looking to get a few uh, modulars but the I don't really have a great Toys R Us near me so I went to one at Lakeside in the UK in the hope that that was a much bigger one and in the end they didn't have any modulars whatsoever so I just um, managed to get a couple more of the Batman movie sets um, that I particularly wanted. I was really tempted to get a few of the Arkham Asylums to be honest um, and I would have probably made my Arkham Asylum that I'd already gotten a, a little bit bigger and I probably would have just um, sold the, the figures but in the end I decided I'd get the Joker's uh, Low Rider which looks pretty cool at 20% off that was about 40 quid or, or, or something so not a bad a bad price at all and to go with that of course I had to get the uh, Batmobile and this is a great looking Batmobile and when I've seen people who've actually built this already they're uh, quite surprised that the some of the parts and some of the building techniques I, I, I think so looking forward to uh, opening that one up and then uh, last of the Toys R Us ones but not least I got my hands on the Killer Croc Tailgater and to be honest this wasn't one that was particularly uh, high on my list for these sets until that is I was in the Lego store a week or two ago and I saw it in the flesh and I thought it was a really nice uh, vehicle and uh, yeah, it looked really good I'm not sure it's really worth the uh, the price um, that Lego want to charge for it but nevertheless it's uh, a good addition and uh, I really want to get all of the um, the Batman movie sets that I can so next up um, are some sets that I managed to get from local um, uh, a local store here called uh, Sainsbury's uh, which is a local supermarket uh, this is a Junior's uh, set, so uh, you might think this is a, a little bit strange, but three really good figures in here. You've got the Batman, which is a kind of classic look, um, grey and, and blue Batman, which is uh, a nice figure, and Lex Luthor and Superman as well. And uh, these were, uh, I want to say about £12 or, or £13 in, in there, which I thought was good. Um, so... 
I thought I'd get my hands on a few of those. So one, two, three, four, five of those. And next up, again from Sainsbury's, was uh, these uh, Clash of the Heroes. Uh, again, this is the great um, Batman with the armoured suit on and uh, Superman as well. Uh, so two really nice figures in there. I think these were uh, about seven or eight pounds. So picked up a few of those as well. So five of those. Then um, I managed to get a few things in the um, Lego shop at home sale. So I can't actually remember exactly what I bought to be honest in that sale. So let's have a look. This is going to probably be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. So uh, more of the Batman uh, set uh, from the from the Batman movie. Uh, this is the Joker uh, balloon escape, the Catwoman uh, cat cycle chase, and the Mr. Freeze ice attack. So lots more of the Batman uh, sets there. And with that, I got a nice Disco Batman and um, Tears of Batman poly bag, which is uh, a great poly bag that I think everybody was was after, and was probably uh, lots of orders. I think they sold out pretty uh, pretty quickly on Lego Shop at Home. So another uh, Lego Shop at Home box here, and you probably noticed I've already taken off all of the strapping just to make the opening of the packages uh, a little bit quicker and, and easier. Um, I just need to put that invoice out of the way. And all oh, right, so what we've got here is um, some shrunken headquarters. Um, I placed a few Nexo Knights um, orders in a recent offer that Lego had online. And I placed them really just to get these poly bags. Um, so I bought um, some some of the ultimate sets that were um, reduced uh, purely to get these, and then unfortunately they'd run out of these. Um, but they still obviously shipped my my items, and uh, I rung up, spoke to customer care, and miraculously they managed to find a couple. So they were very kind to send me out two more Nexo Night. Uh, poly bags which was really good I think it's a great little poly bag that one and next up what have we got here get that in the out of the way in a second okay so this is one of the Nexo night uh, sets that I was just talking about that I had to buy and as I said I bought that really just to get those um, Nexo night poly bags there Next up is another box from Lego Shop at Home. Again, another box, and it's a bit of a pain this with all of these separate boxes. But um, this is the Beastmaster, another of the um, the uh, Ultimates um, from the Nexo Knights. Again, that's what I was buying to get the. Uh, poly bag. Those, by the way, were were about three pounds, three pounds fifty from Lego Shop at Home in the sale. And that's a good one. Nothing in that one. I must have opened that one previously. Sorry about that. Then we've got a bigger box here from Lego Shop at Home. get that invoice out of the way and what we've got here is the droid escape pod and this was in the sale 50% off um, so this I think was 10 pounds so I managed to pick up 
what I was, get these bubbles out of the way, and picked up a few more. That's two, three, four. And five. I'll just see if I can get that one up there without knocking everything off. So you might notice a little bit of a theme here. I've been getting a lot of things in fives, which just really makes it easier to part out, to be honest. So five of the classic sets, five of the juniors, five of the Clash of the Heroes, five of the the uh, droid escape pods. And then um, the other thing that I've been getting is not hugely exciting, just a uh, pick a brick cup from Lego Shop at Home. Really got that for these uh, blue tiles that's in here and got them because uh, I needed them for the uh, cafe corner. So um, I think. That is it uh, for this particular haul. Um, not one of the bigger ones, but not a bad haul by any stretch of the imagination. And some great deals with lots of 50% um, off uh, deals from Lego Shop at Home and from Sainsbury's in particular in the UK. So I hope you enjoyed the haul. Um, be back with another haul um, in a couple of weeks probably. And uh, if you liked it, Give me a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.